As it exists, a sensitive solo work will be making a return to the market theatre for a 10-day season during Africa Month starting uh, on the 9th of May to the, yeah, to, to the 19th. Now, it reflects and explores the memory of Gregory Makoma's distant ancestor, Chief Jongum Sobom Vu Makoma, one of the most prominent Tosa leaders who was arrested when he ordered the English colonizers to liberate Tosa land and died on Robin Island in 1873. Well, Gregory joins us now this morning to share more on latest production. Gregory, a very good morning to you and a warm welcome. Good morning and good morning to the viewers. Well, Exit Exist is revisiting the ancestral past in today's context. Can you share more details on this? Well, I mean, when I was thinking about what is it that we want to celebrate in our country during Africa Month and also in a year that we are also casting our votes and within our 25-year democracy, and again celebrating 20 years of Vuyani Dance Theatre as an organization, I thought it was relevant for us to revisit the works that have legacies and looking at those who have paved the way for us, for our freedom in our country. Mm. And that our freedom didn't only begin in the last century, but it has a long history of colonial uh, oppression. And I want to, again, revisit that history for us to be remembered or to remember that we still have a struggle around land as an issue, but also as cattle, as currency of the time. What drove you to tell this story uh, through this production? Well, the first drive was actually my identity, and I wanted okay. to, to visit my own family tree, and I came across the character of Chief Mancom, and I found him to be quite an interesting character mm -hmm. who fought for the emancipation of the Kosa people in the Eastern Cape yeah. over the invasion of the British. And, and he was arrested not only once, but twice at Robin Island, yeah. and where he eventually died in 1873. And I wanted to tell that story that um, there is a history, there's a political history that really draws us into land as an issue, yeah. and how do we then discover that history and in order for us to better negotiate our terms when we're talking about land in the current situation. And I do understand that uh, this will be told over a 10-day period on Africa, on Africa Month. I mean, what's the significance of this particular time frame? Well, I think land is a, it's a, it's a particularly uh, burning issue at the moment um, in, mm. within the political sphere. And I want to use art because it touches also on the other senses, you know, it touches on the emotion. And uh, with the help of Simpua Dana's music, um, it touches also on the emotions of Mankoma. And to say that land was never given away. Land was taken from the people and a lot of people died for it, including Macron and other leaders who fought really for the liberation of this country. Yeah, and I'm curious to know how the issue of land um, is specifically incorporated into this play. Well, you know, there are many ways because we were very aware that we are creating, myself and James Mobo, who's directing me in the work, we're very aware that we are creating an artistic work. So we, we wanted to take also an artistic license in terms of us, ensuring that it's about not telling a, a a, a, a historical thesis or, or writing a historical thesis but to ensure that we're creating a work that really dives into the emotions of his time the land that he fought and also the kind of um, ways in which he was also um, negotiating the t his terms as, as, a, as a leader in the Eastern Cape. You'll also be accompanied on stage by four singers and a guitarist. Do you want to share more details on this? Yeah, I mean, as it's, I think it's, it's a privilege to, to work with live musician. Yeah. And uh, Simpue Dana did an, an astonishing work in terms of transcribing her material into the four male voices. But I'm also working with um, Giuliano Mondarelli, who's a, a, a guitarist from, from Italy, and he's come specifically for, for this work. Mm. So to have that uh, collision of of music and dance, I think it's phenomenal. And to have also the visual feast that is also created through the costumes by David Klale and, and also Simpue Dana's lyrics, it's, yeah. it's really, it's phenomenal. And there are, these are the people who are already making um, incredible work in their own way. And I wanted to collaborate with them in order for us to have a visual feast in terms of dance, in terms of us mm. working in the narrative of land. Okay, I mean, there's quite a number of themes. Uh, we will be talking about land, you'll be talking about ancestry. So what is that central theme that you want your audience to take away after watching this particular play? I think I think the central theme in this work is it's about really 
tapping back into humanity, tapping back into knowing that um, um, whatever that has done happened in the past, it, it has happened because you know other people have fought for it, and there's a lot of blood that has been shed. And how do we better position ourselves as a society today when we're negotiating around these issues that are very complex? They're not easy I I situations, but how do we better? Uh, position ourselves um, as, as people who have suffered through our history and history has taught us that, that yeah. there's been a lot of suffering and, and I want to really bring that into the open for, for a discussion. There are various schools of thought on the issue of uh, ancestry, revisiting one's ancestral past, and of course the issue of religion in today's context. So how do you strike the balance between religion and th those kind of issues? Well, I mean, I, I think the balance between there is also about heritage. You know, we need to understand what is our heritage, and, and tapping into this work has taught me also about my own heritage, and that there's been empires before, yes. and we need to acknowledge that. And by going through this work, I acknowledge that there's been many other empires before us that we need to to uh, to teach our own children and history our own history has yeah. to be about that has to be about the collision of those powers you know I'm so intrigued I think I want to see this play eh? you have to see it <laughs> where is it taking place it's taking place details. at the market theater we yeah. open on the 9th of May we, we run till the 19th of May so it's a 10-day okay. season and tickets are available at web tickets what are the times the times usually we start our, our shows at 8 o'clock um, okay. a, man, a Tuesday to, to, to Saturday, and right. we have a three o'clock show okay. on, on a Sunday. All right, Gregory, thank you so much for your time, and all the best, hey? Thank you for having me. Exit Exist by Gregory Magoma uh, still resonates with South Africa today as we continue to weave through the necessary discourse of land as a nation. I mean, the play, uh, as we just heard, will be returning to the market theater starting from the 9th of May to the 19th. This is Morning Live. We'll have your sports news shortly.